This is bits and pieces of John Fahey's last steam engine train. I have, after many years of showing this to people, but also threatening and promising to get a lesson for it together up at Totally Guitars, have finally got around to it. So uh, what we do in this lesson on Fahey's version of the last steam engine train, um, especially as, as opposed to Leo Kotke's version, which is a little bit different, not really too much, but just a few important little uh, inflections and variations that he introduces, which I may address in another lesson sometime. But what we do with John's version is really learn the way John played it and what he was trying to do and then also introduce some variations on what you can do with it. Get the highlights, that bend at the, at the eighth fret, the G to G sharp, along, now, so the slide is from the fifth fret of the, of the fifth string, B to E, from second to the seventh fret, and then you're gonna keep the sixth and fifth strings going back and forth in the bass while you play this little melody. and hit an open D in the bass before it lands on an A chord down there. So that's, again, one of the big hooks in there. So we talk, we break that down. Um, I've got three or four pages of tablature that, um, that spell everything out. But the important thing about a song like this is not to master it one way and always play it that way. It's really to learn how to turn this into something on your own. And that's the main focus of this song. Is we talk a lot about the variations you can do to make it your own and just understanding the chord progression. That's one of the first things I go through in the lesson is making sure you know when there's an E chord, when it's an A chord, and when it's a B7 chord. So if you'd like to check this out, it's available now as part of the Target program at Totally Guitars. It's a, you know, intermediate high level intermediate finger picking song just because of the speed involved. Uh, it's not particularly difficult to play it slowly, so I really encourage people to work on it slowly first. The, the version I have includes a slowed down metronome playthrough where picking out people can see each hand very clearly and things like that. So we also have a lot of more beginning to intermediate finger picking pieces there and, and many of those are in our in our free channel where anybody can see them. They're also here at TG Free Lessons here at YouTube. So if you want to get started on that, I encourage finger pickers to get started with things like House of the Rising Sun, Blackbird, some things that are a little bit more uh, building good techniques that can eventually be carried over into things like the last steam engine train. But if you'd like to take a look at the lesson, it's up now and available at Totally Guitars.